Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI crude oil. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. So back to the technical analysis, we're down 1.4% on the 1-hour chart. We're slowly approaching to negative MACD. And as for the 4-hour chart, we start to see a slight convergence on the 4-hour MAC for our MACD. However, we saw a reversal uh, over today. And as for the daily chart, we are slowly approaching to positive MACD on the daily chart. We broke out of a 50-day moving average resistance, and that may act as our immediate support if we do manage to reverse. And that support level is around a price of $23.16. Again, that coincides with the 9-day moving average, this blue line, and the 50-day moving average, this yellow line. And as for support, if we do manage to climb higher, the next resistance that I see will be where we made a previous resistance back in April 3rd, around a price of $29 or $20.94. And if we were to move up higher, that price movement is roughly around I would say 14.7% to the upside and to the downside, it is around 6%. So let's head to the day-by-day -day probability model. On, we'll be analyzing US, uh, USL. It's similar to USO. It reduces the contango effect. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have, say, a 50% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between, I would say, 0 to 5%. And on the extreme case, we have a 50% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between, say, 10% to negative 16%. So let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model, or I should say day-by-day -day forecast. So we have one day out, that will be a Thursday, and two, day, two days out will be a Friday. So three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that we should focus on it should be similar to the current trend. Right here, the blue line is our current trend, and overlapping it is a trend that I believe is the best match. So right here, we have our current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match, and this trend dates back to September 22nd, 2008 to December 16, 2008. So let's compare it to both charts. So we start off at the middle Bollinger Band and then we proceeded to grind lower below the middle Bollinger Band and then we revert back to the middle Bollinger Band right towards the very end. And we see that similar pattern here as well. We start off at the middle Bollinger Band and then grind below the middle Bollinger Band and then revert back to the mean to the middle Bollinger Band. So what we have here is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined, it was September 22nd, 2008 to December 16, 2008. Back then, WTA crude oil fell around 14%. And if we examine the probability model, again, it has a 50% chance between negative 10% to negative 16%. And one thing to note that these probability, these sample size is small. We only have two models, so do keep that in mind. And if we examine further on the technical performance of each model, on the current trend, we're down 90% from monthly high. We're up 13.6% from monthly low up 7 base points from 10 simple moving average, up 1% from 20 simple moving average, and down 11% from 50 simple moving average. And now the trend that we just examined, it was September 22nd to December 16, 2008. Back then, WTI crude oil was down 95% from monthly high, up 8.5% from monthly low, up 46 base points from 10 simple moving average, and down 2.6% from 20 simple moving average and down 16% from 50 simple moving average. So there are slight technical differences on the 20 simple moving average. On our current trend, we're up 1.2%. Compare that to down 2.6%. So that is one difference. 
on the technical performance among the two trends. And one thing to note below, we do have a similar trend, but not identical trend. So one thing to note on the current trend, we are we reached above the upper Bollinger Band. Compare that to the trend here, we do not we have not reached the upper Bollinger Band, and that do keep that in mind. So again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.